welcome back to vmp guidance today we will discuss on image formation by two plane mirrors when the object is kept in between them last class we have seen how to draw the ray diagram for the image formation of a point object by a plane mirror i hope you understood that we will use the same ideas to draw the diagrams here also and if one mirror is there and one object is there in front of the mirror of course one image will be formed now let us take one more mirror and two mirrors are here now so if i am keeping the object between these two mirrors how many images will be formed it depends on the angle between the mirrors in fact uh, in your textbook you may come across a formula number of images formed is equal to uh, 360 upon theta minus 1 theta is the matter of angle between the mirrors but that formula is uh, applicable only with certain conditions moreover the formula is not there in icse syllabus so i am not going to tell upon that if the angle between the mirrors is less more number of images will be formed and if the angle between the mirrors is 0 degree that means if the mirrors are facing each other and parallel to each other if the mirrors are parallel to each other and if you keep one object in between okay my face you consider my face as the object object in between how many images will be formed so light from my face may fall on this mirror from the ray will be reflected one image will be formed on this mirror the light reflected from this mirror m1 may fall on this this mirror second mirror and from the ray it can be reflected and i can see image there also now it is interesting the light reflected from m2 fall on the mirror m1 again getting reflected and image will be formed and uh, these reflected rays fall on the mirror m2 image will be formed this process will continue you will get uh, a number of images infinite number of uh, images uh, we have to learn the diagram for that so today's work is to draw the diagram when you draw the diagram you will understand more about this let us go for the diagram yes take your uh, paper pencil and the ruler let us draw the mirror one first okay our first mirror is m1 another mirror is kept parallel to the mirror m1 and this mirror m2 that is facing the mirror m1 okay let us keep the object in between this is the object to light rays from the object o will fall on the mirror m1 and image will be formed behind the mirror light rays from o will fall on the mirror m2 and image will be formed behind the mirror now i am taking the rays which fall on the mirror m1 i am taking two rays from o okay so these rays will be reflected from the mirror m1 obeying laws of reflection and you know that image of this object 
all will be formed behind the other. One more thing you know, object distance will be equal to image distance. Well, uh, now let us take this object distance. For me it is uh, uh, 8 centimeter. Distance of object O from the mirror I want 8 centimeter. So 8 plus 8, 16 centimeter. Okay, I am marking it here at 16 centimeter. Well, this is the image I1. I1 is the image of object O formed by the mirror M1. Light rays will be reflected. Of course, following the laws of reflection, okay, it reaches the mirror M2. Now, look at the diagram. I1 is the image of the object O formed by the mirror M1. But for the mirror M2, I1 is the object. Because for the mirror M2, these rays which fall on the mirror M2 are diverging from the point I1. So you know that I1 is not a real object. So if you want, you can call it. Uh, virtual object yes i1 is the virtual object for the mirror m2 so where will be the image formed image of i1 will be formed behind the mirror m2 okay uh, so i will take this object distance what is that this distance that is uh, I am getting it is about 19, okay, 19 centimeter. So here I let me mark that I2. What is I2? I2 is the image of the object I1 formed by the mirror M2. So light rays will be reflected from here, from the mirror, okay, as if it is diverging from I2. what they do they will not do this way they will show that uh, some clips no? they will show it like this from there they will bend it uh, and they will show the image here and they will say this is i three. no this uh, if it is referred like this of course this must be produced uh, uh, this must be produced a straight line okay but is wrong this is wrong it cannot be here it 
in this was our i3 and uh, this was like this isn't it okay that is enough draw only uh, three images that is enough well here uh, in my explanation i have taken two rays from the object o which falls on the mirror m1 there was another possibility like rays uh, uh, fall on the mirror m2 could have been considered also in this case of course it falls here then where will be the image image distance c this uh, image distance is equal to object distance here this is the object o is the object object distance okay let me say that is about uh, 3.5 okay 3.5 so this image will high dash and from there these rays will be reflected isn't it this will be reflected and it falls here then i dash i dash is behind the mirror m2 but that is in front of the mirror m1 so these rays appear to diverge from the point i dash so image of i dash will be formed behind the mirror m1 so object distance if i take again object distance this is about 15.5 cm okay here this is 15.5 uh, cm i am marking i double dash from here rays will be reflected oh uh, it may be um, it will be messed up if i am showing those rays also so i am not showing those rays i just uh, show the position of the image only i am not showing the rays okay so in your examination if uh, the question comes you just show light rays falling on one mirror only depending on the question well the other rays i am not showing but i will show the position of image only this is i dash and here it is that i double dash as you understood i double dash is the image of a object i dash formed by the mirror m1 now i double dash is in front of the mirror m2 i double dash is the object for the mirror m2 so behind the mirror m2 an image will be formed so this, uh, this distance is at uh, 27 cm and uh, i will mark it here okay i triple dash so what happens this process continues and infinite number of images will be formed